So in case you're wondering who or what you're looking at, this is Brooke Houts. She is a YouTube personality that recently got into a bit of trouble for doing what I like to call opening the Mike Vick can of worms. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the story, I'll give you a quick TLDR. She uploaded a video of herself smacking and spitting on the Doberman that you see before you. Now, I normally do breakdown videos and I try to get the footage, but unfortunately I couldn't catch footage that didn't have other people's commentary blocking and chopping it up. So yeah, we're just gonna discuss this over a regular video of her with her with her pup here. Now she's clearly a 35 percenter, all right? She's a good looking chick. She's gonna hit the wall something fierce, but yeah, you know, she's definitely a 35 percenter. Yet there is no excusing uploading there's no excuse no excusing smacking and spitting on your dog at all but <laughs> it's doubly dumb when you upload it and incriminate yourself my goodness i mean mike vick didn't even do that he had to get caught but mike vick mike vick's consequences should have really been a um you know warning sign as far as what would happen if anyone saw that uh, video because people did and now people are pissed they have LAPD doing an investigation uh, she's getting mass dislike she's getting ratioed the hell on her um, channel I think this video uh, got ratioed like nobody's business 144,000 dislikes I think to like 7,000 likes or something to that extent but that's because a lot of people didn't even know who she was, even though she has like 300,000 subscribers. It doesn't really matter. Like your, your sub counts and your follower counts really don't matter in the real world. OK, we're, we're all out here doing our thing. So <laughs> um, the Mike Vick comparison, though, like it, she was probably a toddler. She was probably still in her dad's balls when uh, the Mike Vick situation went down. If you're unfamiliar, Mike Vick, he was an NFL quarterback, one of the most prolific NFL quarterbacks of all time. I mean, the man could run. He used to throw, he could throw like a, like a tank and he could run his ass off. His speed was amazing. They, he had to, he left the league for an entire year to serve a prison sentence, came back, actually had a pretty decent um, career after his uh time in the bing and then but now to this day he cannot live down the dog fighting uh scenario the dog fighting situation which you know <clears> hey <throat> i can't call it <laughs> i can't call it on that i did a video about two months ago where mike vick uh was trying to do a football camp in kentucky and he was like nah the, they had protesters outside of the event saying no you hurt our dog you hurt these dogs you do not deserve to still be on this earth that whole thing and it's some one of those things that's going to follow him for the rest of his days and i don't wish that upon anybody i don't wish that upon miss houts herself but that should have been a warning sign right there that yeah if i upload footage like why why would you upload the footage because reasons <laughs> like, okay so i get like i've done video editing uh for the past three years so were the files similarly named or like why did you even save it why didn't you just delete it but there's another thing that really um I wanted to hit on as well when it comes to people who get dogs and sometimes children and exploit them for views that's something that was really coming across in the video is that you know this is she wants her channel to grow she wants to be a big time youtuber and make that ad revenue and all that other stuff and so she got this dog that maybe she doesn't have the temperament to have because you know the, the dog is not gonna fully understand you know human commands to an extent and if you actually look at the video the dog is being rather playful with her and she's acting oh this is gonna be this great time we're gonna have so much fun i mean you saw you see how she is here in the videos right here it's like it's all a front it's all an act and so when those cameras go off you that's the person who's the real person whatever you're presented with is just whatever the individual wants you to see but what we ended up seeing was animal abuse animal abuse like long and short 
and me personally, I didn't grow up with an, in an animal household. You know, my parents, if it was anything bigger than a fish, nah. They didn't want another mouth to feed and they don't want anybody, they didn't want anything pooping all over the place. So when I got my own dog, man, chick magnet, cute, cute as all can be, love him to death. And, and through that relationship, I've actually grown a far more empathetic because grow, coming up where I came up, people dog fought dogs. People, they were cockfighters, you know? Like and like the and plus with the Bible saying how we have dominion over the animals, then it's sort of like okay, <laughs> do what you're gonna do with your property or whatever. And like I said, as I got older and as I actually spent time, I started to understand and I do get that love that many people have for animals just in general. So when you're caught being abusive towards an animal it's nah it's that's not a win so you know hopefully the dog ends up in a it ends up in a in the situation that's best for him we'll see what happens when it comes to the investigation that the lapd will be conducting into the young lady and what she has going on but I just wanted to do this because I didn't see a lot of people drawing that Mike Vick comparison, you know, like, wait a second, because trust me, if, if you are a superstar athlete who basically has the entire world gifted to you and you do something like that and have everything taken from you. Yeah, if you're a nobody and I'm sorry, Brooke, but you are a nobody. I mean, like I said, 300,000 subscribers really doesn't account account to nothing in the real world. There are people who do not know PewDiePie exist, okay? So <laughs> So trust me. Like like you're we're basically me and my 100 and some change subs are at the same level as you with your 300,000 subs whether you like it or not in the real world, okay? <laughs> and so um don't I don't want to sit here and, and say oh yeah well this is great because it shows that women have there are consequences for women's actions as well yeah it does to an extent but <laughs> that's after you mess with the animals people do not you just don't be cruel to animals particularly ones with such personalities like dogs I mean if you want to kick a cat knock yourself I'm joking I'm joking I'm joking do not kick cats I'm just saying <laughs> I'm just saying so with that being said we're gonna bring this one to an end all the internet stuff if you liked it toss it a like dislike go ahead do that to where I ain't scared of you sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice share because sharing is caring and YouTube's not gonna do it bit you I think might be a little bit better about it and speak let me know what do you think in the comments uh, should is she gonna get like any kind of uh, fine like what kind of what kind of um you know uh, I don't I want to say consequences but penalties do you think she'll see like I don't think she's gonna see any jail time I mean because let's be real no matter how um no matter you should even if she did like well first and foremost dog fighting and smacking your dog both abusive acts definitely are not even in the same league all right <laughs> they aren't even close but the, there's likely to be a, a penalty there's likely to be something coming of it and if you have any ideas as to what that would be i'd love to hear them in the comments so with that being said we're going to bring this one to an end and until the next one